Hi, my name is Maxwell Kofi Esari. Welcome to Kofi Esari Live Strip Bible Game Tutorial Section. I'm here as a facilitator to help you understand how to play this game. The first objective of the game is to help internalize the Word of God in you and how the Word of God can be made practical in your daily life. The second objective of the game is to spread the gospel of salvation which is through the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Another objective of the game is to reawaken minds to esteem and to uphold high moral values and eschew evil. And lastly, to place emphasis on building a strong spiritual life by observing spiritual principles. This game comes with simple philosophy. Unlike most games that seek to entertain through competition, Kofias are a live stream Bible game seeks to entertain you through collaboration, where all players collaborate and make one journey to heaven. So here, the emphasis is on collaboration and not competition. If you have purchased this game, this is the package you would have. Inside this box, we have the game manual. We have 48 light blocks, two dice, six navigational marbles, five great cards, and five warfare cards. This game can be played by a maximum of four people and a minimum of two people. But for this particular tutorial section, I have with me two gentlemen who are going to illustrate how to play this game. Note that there are two dice in this game. The smaller die is used for the movement of the navigational marbles and the big die is used for prayer when the player gets the chance to pray in the game. The player should pick the navigational die and cast it on six. Once the player has cast the die on six, he enters the game and recites John 3.16. John 3.16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. The die is given to the second player to cast. Note that he can only enter the game if he casts the die on six. Since player number one has successfully entered the game, he continues with his journey. Player number two can now enter the game since he has cast the die on six. Because both players have entered the game, God and the devil also enter the game. Note that God and the devil cannot enter the game when all the active players have not entered the game. I repeat, note that God and the devil cannot enter the game when all the entire active players have not entered the game. The footprint depicts the path of God in the game. Anytime any of the players cast the die on three, God takes one step forward. Once God enters the game, he moves towards heaven. If God reaches heaven in this game, the game comes to an immediate end, irrespective of where the active players stand. God's movement in this game is very crucial. If God reaches heaven and all the players are below him, all those players are candidates for help. The further God moves away from players, the dangerous it becomes for the players to go to hell. It is imperative for the active players to be in line with God so that they wouldn't miss heaven. This is the path of the devil. Anytime any of the active players cast a die on six, the devil takes one step forward. Note that the devil journeys from the top towards hell. If the devil completes his journey to hell, the game comes to an immediate end, irrespective of where the active players stand. Now let's look at how the active players journey to heaven. Since the second player cast the die on two, he moves two spaces on the game. Now player one gets the chance to cast the die. Since the first player landed on the scrolls, listen to the instructions carefully. The picture you see there is a scroll. This means that the player has committed an offense or the player has sinned and therefore he is required to move four spaces backwards and then lose a life block. There are a lot of scrolls in this game. Each scroll has an inscription written in it. The inscriptions are sinful activities. For example, 
in space 6, it is written in the scroll, disobedient. It means the player has committed an offense or a sin of disobedience and therefore he is required to count backwards with the numerical inscription in the scroll. In the case of space 6, where the player has committed sin of disobedience, the player counts four spaces backwards and then loses a life block. After the second player had played one and had landed on the fruits, listen to the instructions carefully. The fruit is a representation of the fruit of the spirit. Anytime any player lands on the fruit, two things are required. He is to either answer a question from the Bible or recite a quotation. If he does any of them correctly, that player ends one additional life block. If he is not, the player does not gain anything. The fruit of the spirit in this game gives an opportunity for a player to earn a life block. The player can only earn a life block when he is able to recite a Bible quotation from memory or he has answered his Bible quiz correctly. Should I ask you a question or you want to say memory verse? I prefer memory verse. Psalm 23 verse 1. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Amen. Since he quoted the scriptures correctly, the player earns one additional life block. The first player has landed on prayer requests. Listen to the instructions carefully. This is where the player gets the opportunity to pick the bigger die and make a prayer request on that die. There are six faces on the prayer die. Only three of the faces work. The rest do not work at all. One on the prayer die means prayer of mercy and intercession, meaning that a player can choose to intercede for another player. If a player chooses to use intercession in the game, these are the things that the player can do. The player can give another player a life block. A player can also help another player stand on the breakthrough bar without necessarily playing anything. In the case where the player has not entered the game, a prayer request of intercession can make another player enter the game without necessarily playing six. If the player decides to use prayer of mercy, he pushes God one step backwards. Three on a prayer die also means prayer of grace. If the player casts the dies on three, the player ends one grace card. The grace card gives the player the power over sin. This means that if a player falls into sin or falls into the scrolls, the player cannot move backwards and the player will not lose his life. This is to tell that grace has annulled his sin and therefore he does not suffer the penalties of his sins. A player also gains one additional life block as he obtains the grace card. Note that any time a player falls into sin or falls into the wicked spirit and turns in the grace card, the grace card is taken away from him. Six on a prayer die means prayer of warfare. If a player casts six, he can choose to get a prayer request warfare card or can decide to push the devil one step backwards. A player picks the warfare card which gives him immunity from the manipulation of the wicked forces in the game. Note that the warfare card does not come with an additional life block. It is only the grace card that comes with one additional life block. The creeping plant you see in this game is called grace acceleration plant. Anytime any player falls on the grace acceleration plant, he is required to answer Bible quizzes or quote a quotation from memory before he can accelerate to the end of the creeping plant. The bars you see in the game are called breakthrough bars. The breakthrough bars have numbers written below them. Some of the numbers are put into ranges and others are single digit numbers. The numbers represent the range or the specific number a player needs to play before they qualify to stand on them. For example, the first breakthrough bar has the range 3 to 5, which means that a player needs to play either 3, 4 or 5 to stand on that bar. For instance, in case a player is in space 17, 
and cast the die on five. The player would count two spaces. The two will be taken from the five, remaining three. Once the remainder falls within the range, the player can stand on the bar. In a scenario where a player had played four, the player would count one, two. The remaining two does not qualify him or her to stand on the bar. If the remainder is less than the range that is listed there, the player cannot stand on the bar and therefore no movement is made. As you can see on your screen, the player requires one to be able to stand on the breakthrough bar. If he is not able to cast the die on one, he remains there until he does so. In the case where the remainder is more than the specific range, the player cannot also move. For example, if a player casts the die on five, the player counts one, two. The remainder is three, but the range there is one to two. Since the remainder is more than the range, the player moves back to his previous position. If a player lands on great acceleration plant, as you can see on your screen, he has to recite a memory verse. If he's able to quote the scriptures correctly or answer the Bible quizzes correctly, he moves from 63 to 64 without passing over the breakthrough bars. Space 71 and 72 are disjointed. Before a player can move from 71 to 72, his last count of the dice should land him at 71 before he can be promoted to 72. This is an example for you to see. Since the player cast the die on 6, he will count to 6 paces. Note that the last count ended in space 71 and therefore he can be promoted to 72. In the case where a player is at space 68 as you see on your screen and had played 6, the player cannot be promoted because his last count 6 did not land at 71. Therefore he needs to play 3 to be promoted to 72. Since he played three and was promoted don't forget god would move one step forward space 72 has two arrows one pointing upwards and the other pointing to the left when a player reaches space 72 he has to make a choice he can choose to follow the pointed arrow upwards or the pointed arrow to the left if he decides to move with the pointed arrow forward he has to use two dice to play. He has to play one one before he could make one step. So the same applies to all the circles in there. There are some that do not have the Ds attached to them. For example, we have one and two. It means that a player has to play one and two like this before that player could move a step. The next one requires that he plays one and three before he could stand on this. It is very important to note that if a player misses his next step, he would come all the way to start from 72. This is to say that if you observe 9 of the laws and you break 1, the 9 is broken. At space 101, it is written in the scrolls, Unforgiveness to 89. The player is required to move from 101 to 99, which lands him into another sin which is selfishness, and moves one step backwards. This means one sin can lead to another sin. Another example, if a player lands at this particular scroll, pride, it is written in the scroll 2, 116. The player has to move from 121 to 116, which means that the player has fallen into the hands of the wicked spirits and therefore will lose another life block and count backwards again. One, two, three, four. Unfortunately, he or she also lands into another wicked spirit, which also requires that he would lose another life block and count backwards three spaces. One, two, three. So from 116, the player loses three life blocks as he falls into pride, wicked spirits, and another wicked spirit. Anytime a player plays six, the player counts six spaces one, two, three, four, five, six, and the devil moves a step forward. 
The six signifies the mark of the beast. Six, six, six. Like I have stated earlier, any time any of the two supernatural forces completes their journey to heaven, the game comes to a sudden end. For example, if the devil ends at hell, as you can see on your screen, the game comes to an immediate end, irrespective of where the other players stand. This means that the rapture principle would be applied in this game. This is how the rapture principle works. In this game, every player is supposed to be in straight line with God or ahead of God to be safe to be raptured to heaven. As you can see on your screen, player yellow is at 41, player green is at 74, player blue is at 78, and player red is at 68. When you look at where God stands, none of them is in line with him or above him. All of them are below him and therefore they become candidates for hell. Any player who is below God misses the opportunity to be raptured to heaven. Let's look at another scenario about the principle of rapture. In the case where the devil completes his journey to hell, the game comes to an immediate end. Therefore, we look at the standings of the active players in the game. When you look at God, God stands here, heading to heaven. Player blue stands at 104, which means that he is ahead of God and is moving towards heaven. Player red stands at 85 and he is in line with God. Now, these two players can be raptured to heaven in a sense that the rules of the game spells out that a player who is in line with God or above God can only be raptured to heaven when the devil enters hell. But in the case of yellow and green, they are below God. As you can see, they are far below God. It means that sin has made it possible to create a gap between them and God and therefore they become candidates for hell. Another scenario of the rapture example is like this. If God reaches heaven, the game has come to an immediate end, irrespective of where the other players stand. As you can see on your screen, from 123 to 115 is called the heaven zone. Any player who reaches this zone automatically qualifies to go to heaven. Now this is the explanation for it. As you can see on your screen, Yellow is at 120 and he is within the heaven zone even though he has not made it to heaven because there are two ways to make it to heaven either you die or you be raptured to heaven in this case he has not died yet but can be raptured because he is within the zone now player red is one line below the heaven zone this is the heaven zone i believe in your game there are dotted lines in there player red is below the heaven zone and therefore he's below god and that makes him a candidate for hell for the other fellows, blue and green, they are automatically candidate for hell with no doubts and with no debates. Thank you for purchasing Kofi as a live trade Bible game. And I believe and trust that it will be a blessing in your home. Got the words to change a nation, but you're biting your tongue. You spent a lifetime stuck in silence.